Hey there guys, Artistic Nick here, thanks for the click. In today's anime drawing tutorial, I'm gonna be drawing Zeref from Fairy Tale. As always, I start off freehanding the drawing in. I use a Caran Dash 2H pencil for this. This is very, very light. You don't need to press very hard to be able to get something on the page, but it's also very easy to take off. For the eraser, I use a putty rubber or a putty eraser. This is a very soft, it's almost like a blue tack, and this comes off, uh, it gets the graphite off very, very easily. I then use a Faber-Castell pencil to uh, go over the lines and just make any adjustments. I use a Faber-Castell pit pen, and this is a permanent marker, it's very fine lined, and as you can see, it allows me to get some great uh, details in some of the smaller areas. I then use my Copic markers for this, uh, for the rest of the drawing. I'm using a Prussian blue for the coat and I use a golden yellow for the buttons and the stripe. If you're into anime and manga, uh, or even if you're just into drawing tutorials, then why don't you consider subscribing to my channel? Turn the notifications icon on because I'm doing daily videos at the moment, uh, so you'll see them pop up as I release them. If you've got any requests for me, if there's anything you'd like me to draw, then please leave me a comment down below. I am doing requests. Um, I can draw anything from photorealistic graphite portraits, uh, two cartoon characters, um, two ultra hyper realistic um, pictures of anything. I, I did a Coke can the other day. I'm using a black um, marker for the hair and I just left a few highlights. When you're drawing hair, whether it's with graphite or ink, if you leave some areas slightly whiter in designated spots, it just does give that slightly more realistic look. Although we're, we're drawing cartoons here and we're not going for realism, it is nice just to have um, that, 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 that look of uh, a realistic hair to it. It just tricks the mind. So here you can see I'm laying down the golden yellow. This stands out really well uh, against the Prussian blue and the black. For the face, I used a milky white, and then I go over the milky white with a cool grey 3 and a cool grey 5 for the darkest areas. Again, just bringing out some shaded areas, uh, as you can see under the chin, uh, around the hairline. This again just adds another layer of depth, and it just tricks the mind into thinking that we are looking at an object that is rounded, rather than something on a flat piece of paper. For the uh, the grey areas, I'm using a cool grey 1, and then the darker areas, I used a cool grey 3 and a 5, again, just to bring out some depth. All in all, this drawing took me from start to finish about two hours. I really enjoyed it. I haven't seen this character before. Um, I've, I've, <clears throat> I've looked at a little bit of a background, and I do know that he has something to do with, uh, with Dragneel, so... Um, this is something that I'm not 100% too, too sure about. So if you're an anime uh, fan and you know a little bit more about uh, Zeref, then please drop me a comment down below. Let me know a little bit more background about him. And why don't you guys uh, contact me and, and get hold of me on my uh, social media platforms. The links to all of those are down below in the descriptions. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Um, I've been getting some great feedback from you guys recently, so thank you so much for that. Don't forget to send me your uh, requests. And I'd also like to know, who's your favourite fairy tale character? Uh, this is the second time that I've drawn a fairy tale character, um, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really enjoying drawing them. So let me know, who's your favourite character? The final part of the drawing, I'm using a bright orange just to give a background. And I do leave, I like to leave a white area in between the character and the background, just to give some extra depth and dimension. We're getting towards the end of the video now. That's the final drawing. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'd love to see some of your drawings, so give them a go and let me see them over on the social media platforms. And I look forward to making a video for you in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Hit subscribe. Smack the notifications button. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.